What is up my friends? I am Mumphy. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining. We are very close to getting the Icon Stage 8 installed on the Tacoma. So be sure that you are subscribed and following the channel so you don't miss out on that video. Now, before I finally upgrade to the Icon, I wanted to kind of go over the current suspension setup that I have on my Tacoma, which are the Bilstein 5100s. And whether or not it might be an ideal choice if you're looking to lift your Tacoma. So, we'll go for a ride and check out the suspension, both on-road and off-road. Let's jump into it. All right, let's talk about the Bilstein 5100's kind of on-road performance. I've been happy with them over the 22,000 miles I've had them on my Tacoma. They've been very, very good. I've taken them on a couple of very long road trips, a few up to uh, Idaho, and one that actually took me up to Yellowstone. So that was a couple of nice long drives where the suspension really held up. And over the course of that time, I added my roof rack and my Rome cases along with my bed rack. And that one was up to Yellowstone. The, uh, the on-road performance of them have been stellar. They are a stiff suspension, but one that's one that's fairly manageable. Now you will feel more of the road, especially if you have a similar setup to mine with the 285 70R 17s uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Now, as I've kind of stated, this is a setup derived from uh, the dealer, so I had this installed when I bought the truck, and it has served me well. One thing that I would recommend doing is definitely upgrading to an add-a-leaf or a full leaf pack replacement. Now, if you're gonna do a leaf pack replacement, keep in mind what you plan on doing to the truck further on down the road. Usually just a, a, an add-a-leaf or option one from the RXT pack from Icon, which I have, I'm actually upgrading to the RXT leaf spring, but I won't be doing the option one. I'll probably end up doing the option three, simply because of what I have planned to carry in the back of my truck and on top of my bed rack. The off-road performance of the Bilstein 5100s has also been rather impressive. I've, I've definitely liked them off-road for the few trails that I have done. Now, I'm not doing super heavy Moab off-roading, but a lot more of your fire road trails and camp spot type of trails. I have done one high clearance Jeep trail uh, way back before I put any mods on the truck <laughs> and basically broke in the paint with some Rocky Mountain pinstripes. <laughs> but it was also a very good experience to try and understand the capabilities of the Tacoma and getting more confidence in the suspension setup that I have. Now, I am looking forward to putting the icons on and seeing what the differences are between the two. Will the icons offer me more stability, more, uh, more of a comfortable ride? I don't know. They could be just as stiff as the, the Bilsteins, but I am very happy with the Bilstein 5100s. I think it's a great beginner setup, entry level, and would recommend them to 
to anyone out there. The off-road performance uh, is, is very good. I think I could really ease up the ride by deflating my tires to kind of help mitigate some of that hard bouncing around. Maybe not entirely, but at least it'll help give a more comfortable ride when I'm doing more off-road trails is to just deflate the tires. But I am looking forward to getting the new leaf pack on, seeing how that handles. The block lift, it's, it's fine if I wasn't going to do anything else to the Tacoma. If I wasn't doing the direction that I'm actually going for, I probably would be fine. The block definitely offers a, a harder back end, but overall, I think it's uh, it has served it has served my purposes the way that I've needed it to. As I've said before, the 5100s are a bit more of a stiff shock uh, and they don't have a reservoir to help maybe even lighten it up just a little bit uh, so you don't you're not going to get adjustments on the shock here it's basically a height set and that's it whatever whatever spring that you end up putting on the front is what you're going to get but overall it's been a very i've i've enjoyed the, the drivability uh, with the suspension on. And even on the small little bit of off-roading that I've done, I've thoroughly enjoyed my experience with these Bilstein 5100s. Yeah, it is a little bit on the stiff side, but as I've said before, I could probably mitigate that by airing down. I'm very, I'm actually very happy with this setup. But I'm also looking forward to putting the icons on. Well, my friends, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you did enjoy the information on the Bilstein 5100 setup. Let me know down in the comments section if it's a setup that you're actually looking to do for your Tacoma or if you're looking at something else. I'd love to hear all the options that are out there. Just be sure that if you are looking to do the Bilstein 5100s or even any kind of lift setup, to spend a little bit extra on the rear leaf either an add a leaf or a full leaf pack replacement because the block isn't necessarily the best. But if you're not looking to do overlanding or some hardcore off-roading, wheeling, it might be sufficient for just your daily driver. Anyway, my friends, be sure that you are subscribed for the install video that's coming up for the Icon Stage 8. Make sure that you like that video. I greatly appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.